After a successful mission in Washington, D.C., Minnesota National Guard soldiers and airmen started to come home tonight. David Schumann met them when they got off the plane, where they were eager to share their pride after this historic deployment. One plane now, seven more through the overnight, 24 flights by Tuesday. About 800 Minnesota National Guard soldiers and airmen are coming home. Whenever we leave for something like this, it's tough being away from families and work. Yet every one of them volunteered for this mission. The gravity of being in the nation's capital to secure this presidential inauguration was not lost on the men and women here. It, it will certainly be one of my most memorable uh, missions. I thought it was really exciting. It was like hu a huge honor to be there. It was Private Molly Nigren's first time in D.C. since a school trip. This was a little different. We definitely didn't go around and see the sights or anything like that. <laughs> But it was just like an all new perspective of being there because we we're like there for a purpose. While in Washington, Minnesota's troops were mostly assigned to the metro area, away from the capital, ready to respond and do crowd control if needed. It stayed quiet. It was peaceful, and, and, and that's the measure of success for this one. You could almost feel the air had changed after the inauguration there. It just felt like the tension had dissipated. Captain Ian Carpenter called the experience this week humbling and the guard knows they're appreciated. One morning we went out to the location where we were staging up on the north side of D.C. and looked up in the apartment windows and uh, somebody had blocked it out with paper letters saying thank you National Guard. Thank you indeed and welcome home. None of Minnesota's soldiers reported any COVID symptoms. They'll still all be tested right here in the hangar as soon as they get off the plane and quarantined until they get those results back. David Schumann, WCCO 4 News.